Have you ever done something stupid? No, I mean really stupid. Stupid to the point where you and your friends are being shot at? This is the craziest thing you've ever done to us! Who the fuck is the crazy bitch shooting at us? Oh, oh that's Juan Garcia's daughter! Wait a moment. Well, then text the bitch then and tell her to quit fucking shooting at us! What could possibly lead these three best of friends to brave the face of death? Money, of course. Always concocting some sort of get-rich scheme. Man, I don't know how I'll let you talk me into this. Oh, please. I'm serious. I'm black, Benson. Or do you somehow forget that when you came up with this brilliant plan? What the hell does that have to do with anything? What? Man, we try to return that cat and get the reward. You know the first thing old Miss Womack's gonna think is, I bet it was this little nigga that stole him. She wouldn't say that. Shut up, Kurt. Vincent convinced Chris that he would not be singled out just because he was black. Why is he in a bag? This was the 80s, and everyone knew that racism no longer existed in America. Here you go, boys. Forty dollars, just like the reward says. Uh, uh, um, there's something that's a little odd. Mr. Wiggles has always been an indoor kitty, so I can't imagine how he got out. Christopher? You or any of your brothers, did you leave a door open when you were cleaning out my garage? Miss Womack, that was two years ago you had us clean out your garage. Your cat's only been missing three weeks. That's neither fish nor fowl. I told you just because I was black I was going to get blamed. I should kill you, Vincent. Oh, whatever. Look at all this money. Man, one day we will have a black president and he will make sure all black people are taken care of. You best believe that. Not a chance. Boys, you stick with me and you'll definitely share in the wealth. Cause I'm gonna be rich. Cause I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich. Why am I reciting this great modern tale in which legends were made? Because someone paid me. So shut up and pay close attention. Never as a child prophesize about your future wealth because you end up sleeping on your friend's pleather couch. Christopher Jefferson Johnson. Hey, who is that using my government name? There's Walter, man, and he's dressed like he's going to church. And you're sweaty, Walter. Hey, what up, Walt? Uh, Mr. Johnson, you are hereby served. Serving what? What do you serve? God damn it, I'm sorry, man. Look, my stupid brother-in-law got me this job as a process server. She's tagging along with me all damn day, and I'm scared as hell out here. I'm real sorry, Chris. Divorce sucks. I'm glad it's not me. Walter, I'm waiting! Okay, actually, I wish it was me. Get the fuck away from my house, man. You understand me? Coming up here serving me, you can't even take care of that funky bitch out there. Let her ride around the car with rollers all over the goddamn head. You understand me? Fuck you doing with that monkey suit on. Sorry, Chris. You're very sweaty, Walter. Thanks, Vinny. Are we still on for uh, for poker on Wednesday night? Yes, yes, Walter. Walter. Yes. I'll bring the pizza, you guys. Bitch. Man, you shouldn't start your day like this. Man, you've been sitting here living on my couch since October 15th, five motherfucking years ago. I can count that. I get it. You need to come to grips with this uh, reality that you're not that good a salesman, man. Man, you're talking about my career. Your career is fucked up. What, what is it this week, man? I'll probably breathe right. I'm up breathing what? Breathe what? Who? Oh, you know what? I'm proud of what I do. It's the upright breathe right. It is a vacuum cleaner is what the fuck it is. Man, millionaires don't get like this overnight, man. I'm trying to do what I need to do, OK? I'm going to work to make my millions. Watch when I come home today. I got a real job. I fix motors. People need to drive. You need to fix your drive, your drive in life, Chris. While Vincent and Chris toiled to make a dollar out of 50 cents, Kurt was actually quite wealthy working for his father-in-law and miserable to boot. Oh, dude, what are you doing? You're supposed to be in there. I'm, I'm trying. I, I can't find my transportation performer. Fuck, you look like hell. Did you sleep last night? 
Little, uh, wacky wacky. Thanks. Thanks, Rick. It's exactly what I needed right now. Uh, just glad it's you and not me, man. I don't think I could do it. Do what? You gave the last presentation. Yeah, and I fucking killed that bitch. No, I'm talking about being the son-in-law of the CEO. Hello. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you are about to present to the biggest potential client this firm has ever seen. And your father-in-law, slash boss, is gonna be sitting right there, same room, analyzing your every move. <whistles> Kurt. Curdy. Dude, hey, snap out of it. Yo! What? What'd you say? Fix your hair first. Oh, and uh, your secretary always stares at my bulge. See you in the trenches. Two minutes. Breathe. You have several hundred of these a month. You can do this. You can do this. <laughs> Mr. Pomeroy? It's your wife on line one. Um, put her through. Okay. Hello, darling. I won't keep you. I just wanted to tell you how important this meeting is to Daddy. I know. <laughs> well, I'm not sure you do. Taganaki Industries is a client Daddy's tried to get for years, and it would be unfortunate if you lost this opportunity. I'm the reason Taganaki Industries is even here today. Three years of traveling back and forth from Japan, and I got it done. I would think that you would be calling me your husband to say good luck. <laughs> That's cute, honey. Really, just keep your eye on the ball. Remember that it's all on your shoulders. This family doesn't tolerate losers. the Upright Breathe Right, and you have been chosen from thousands of participants to receive a, you got, is it hot? Actually, my parents, they just bought me a vacuum like right before the semester started, so I'm all good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give me one second. They gave me a rebuttal for that. The pamphlet, the pamphlet, hand them the pamphlet here. Read that, that's all the information. Is there? Oh, hey, hi guys, what you doing? Just chilling? I used to chill, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> I know what that is. That's not a asthma breather, is it? You guys. All right, so. Um, OK, no, you can't have any. And my parents give me an allowance every month, which is not enough to afford this amazing vacuum. So I couldn't even buy one if I wanted to. Thank you. That leads me to the other part of my whole presentation, making money. You, sir, how would you like to make $10,000 a month? Wait, so you make $10,000 a month? Dress like that? Um, I, I don't. My, my boss does, and then the guy above him. Look, at, at the office, it's like a tower, okay? They, they have, like, you have the level one. It's, it's like a pyramid. They don't, don't think of it like it's a pyramid. They, don't, they say, don't say it's a pyramid. It's better when you're looking at it on the board. But I'm, I'm, yes, you can. You can. You can make that kind of money. It's like he's an, an anchor on the sad news network, and the special is My Life Sucks. Stop. But here, I'm going to dump this right here. No, oh. you're not. Whoa, dude. Oh, my god. Be cool, man. It's from the vacuum company. They give me this Whoa, stuff. Whoa, hold on. Hold on, Vince. Is it? Is this really your job? Like, you just bust on in here, dump dirt and shit all over the floor, and then tell me I can make more money than you do? I get it. I'm the guy being laughed at in the room, right? It's not like there's much difference between between you and this pile of dirt right now. This is not very um, either. 
There's, uh, you can have it. I'm sorry. No, what? Take it. You're not going to clean this up? The vacuum works, so they say. Wow. Oh, my God. Look, man, when I tell you to go get us some coffee, don't put cream in my shit. Black people like our shit. Black people! Jefferson Johnson, you ain't playing no more damn games with me. You can waddle that fat ass right up on back out that door. Well, you can waddle your ass if you don't sign these divorce papers. Bitch, please. I'm warning you, Chris. You're not gonna mess this up for me. He's a real man. He's the next nigga. Fuck you looking at. Get your ass to work. Find the action. That's why I hide your honky ass. Get him, get, get him. Now, look here. You think you gonna get knocked up by this rich motherfucker, then try to get a divorce from me so you can run off and get paid, get married and shit? It ain't going down like that, baby. Oh, you gonna give me a divorce. You best believe that. You got an envelope? I got an envelope. In this envelope is a picture of you fucking my brother, Jerome Jefferson Johnson the third, And the neighbor, and the motherfucker across the street. The mailman, there's a picture of you in here with peanut butter on your left ass cheek with the dog licking it off. I invented that. And you want to get a divorce? You and your rich sugar daddy going to have to pay me. That's what it is. Now get the fuck out. Get rocks. Take the gravel. It's a waste of a good ass. Get to work. Fuck you looking at. Take a tire off. Get the engine out the motherfucker. Jump in it and drive. Kill yourself. Fuck you too. You all you motherfuckers act like you ain't never had a bitch fool around on you. I ain't the only one up in this motherfucker. I quit too. Hi, bitches. Yes. Chris, oh my God, how are you? You know what, I actually don't give a fuck. Please hold while I get the other half of this shit sandwich on the line. Hello? How are ya? You're on the phone with the Rickster. Who the fuck is this? I said the Rickster the first time. That's long for Rick. Who is Rick? It's Rick, for fuck's sake. Chris, this is Rick the Dick from college. Why you calling us, motherfucker? We don't like you anyway. Yeah, you still sporting that dick broom on the top of your lip? Ha! Wow! Dick broom. Still not funny. You better come up with better material when you go visit your buddy at the funny farm. You're gonna need to lighten the mood. Rick English, please. Your buddy, Kurt, completely bombed in the boardroom. You know what? Scratch that. He didn't just bomb. That mofo kamikaze did. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck are you dicks making cars for anyhow? You can't drive for shit! This is an outrage! He fucking hates the Asians. Hello! The bike! Oh, me is a ramen noodle! He basically offended everybody in the room. Mr. Horny, we were the wrong time! Then, he stepped up to his father-in-law slash boss and let him know that he actually prefers to cram it in his daughter's pooper. I had an evil unicorn! Get your daughter! Your face, you hear me? You son of a bitch! Romantic. I gotta tell you, it was the singular greatest slash worst thing I have ever seen. Man, I ain't even trying to hear this shit. Christopher, you may not be trying to hear this, but Broheim, it is all true. <gasps> Christopher. Vincent, never forget this. Cradle my balls. Yeah, whatever. Go yeah, fuck yourself. <laughs> Guess we can't get any worse than this shit. Who took the last goddamn roll of toilet paper? So is this what life's all about? Infidelity, going crazy, hopeless dreaming? Wait a minute, hopeless dreaming? What? Vincent. Christopher? Fucking Chodewell? <laughs> That's Chodewell. That's fuck. That is Chodewell. Uh, Do you remember him in gym class? He had the little rib cage, looked like a bird was in it. Man. Yeah, yeah well, but most adults actually call me by my real name, Dr. Chad Well. Well, what, what, what are you up to? I mean, 
because you know you you two were the most popular guys in school. So so Vincent, right? You you must be a, what CEO of a multinational corporation by now. And 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 Christopher, I, I can only imagine that you you are playing professional football for all these years, right? Maybe for the Broncos. Am I right? No, you missed the mark just a little bit. I'm actually uh, broke and jobless. Chris is here, his wife's pregnant by another man's semen. And somewhere in this hospital, Kurt has lost his damn mind with a mental breakdown. <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, you guys, you are quite the success stories, aren't you? I mean, man, Christopher, I, I, I still remember that, that game. Great game. When I was 19. You were 22 and 19. Mr. Garcia is Colombia's biggest drug lord and the head of the Garcia cartel, which is responsible for smuggling tons of cocaine into the United States each year. Mr. Robinson then issued a $25 million reward out for the capture of Mr. Garcia. The White House is expected to hold a press conference to further add insight to this newest development. In other news, do you like cats? You know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck you. Show the hell. Show the whale. Show the hell. You gentlemen can see Mr. Pomeroy now. He is pretty sedated, so I suggest you keep your conversations brief. I'll, I'll be quiet. I was just waiting. Come on, man. Uh huh. Yeah. No, that's right. Oh, God, Mom, I gotta go. You know, two vagrants just walked in. Y'all have to call security and have them thrown out on their asses. Uh oh, Chris. Might want to check the bottom of your shoes. I think one of us stepped in a pile of bitch. <laughs> Funny, Vincent. I'm not loaning you any money, so you might as well take a hike. As if I would ever borrow any money from you, Beth. What the hell does that mean? We've supported your ass for years, not to mention you borrow money from everyone you know, you scumbag. Don't even look at me, man. I don't even like this bitch. But she got a point. You owe me $700. What the hell is with the baby balloons? They was on sale. He's a boy. And it's the thought that counts, all right? You're an idiot. Chocolate. You know, that's the last thing he needs, more screw-ups in his life. You know, he screwed up for the last time with me. He's lucky that I'm even here right now. He's in the room. He can't hear shit. Look at him. He looks like a freaking vegetable drooling shit coming out of his mouth. I mean, this is fucking disgusting. And after what he pulled with Daddy today, I would say divorce is in his slobbering-ass future. You know what, Brenda? That is some cold-blooded shit to say about your husband. My name is Bethany. Bethany! Tell your loser-ass friend to get a good divorce attorney. The less I see of any of you, the better. You know you want it. Ugh. Did she just leave him? Did she? Yeah. My man is cracked out. I mean, cracked out. It's all the volumes. Look, they're pumping him in his arm. Look, I don't know what we supposed to do, because obviously the crazy bitch is not coming back. All right, just let me think, man. Let me, let me think. Put your mind to it, man. Look at you, Kurt. <coughs> this is the moment where Vincent saw his opportunity to be rich and famous. That's it. Chris. He's pissing out his mouth, man. Whatever, man. Don't fuck him. We gotta go on vacation, man. That's when we need a vacation. What? A vacation from our lives. So this is where I drink the Kool-Aid, right? Go to this little island and then die. No, no, man. I'm not talking about suicide, man. I'm talking about getting the hell out of the country, all right? You broke, and I got a J-O-B. And your job sucks. You're in a fucking onesie, all I'm right? I'm in a dicky. That's where my dick go. Look, man, I'm broke, but he's not, all right? And they're still married. Credit cards, you know what I'm saying? Bump the bitch credit card, get some money. Let's Come get, on, let's get this crazy motherfucker out of here, man. Good game. It's so well. Oh. <laughs> Grow up. I think we need to stop feeding him volumes, man. I know, look at him, man. He looks like a disaster. Imagine him at a Hollywood party. He's got no tolerance. How can I help you gentlemen today? The three of us adults with like three tickets to Columbia, and you can put it on that man's card. South Carolina. That's what I'm talking about, man. I got cousins down there. That's good, man, but we're not going to South Carolina. Sir, I think he means the country of Columbia. Columbia? Listen, no, you crazy, man. That is the drug capital of the world. I'm black. They gonna think I'm trafficking. Click, click. 
chill, dude. You'll be fine, man. Everybody knows the Valley's the drug capital of the world. Can I carry this on? Yes. Bitch, they ain't even got black people in Columbia. Dude, I'm pretty sure the entire country was founded by black people. Right, you geniuses are all set. Have a wonderful time in the African nation of Colombia. How is he? Passed out. We found an empty road and just laid him on down, man. Where did you get them clothes, man? We laughed at my clothes, man. Stuart just gave me this. That boy slobbered all over my new shirt. Kirk can never catch a break, man. Ever. What? You want to look in the motherfucking mirror? All right, I admit I'm going through a transition right now. <laughs> oh, that's funny, isn't it? Hey, Trey, you going through a transition. Vincent, we on the plane. Where we going and why? Man, need to learn to relax. We are in first class, man. This is first class. Look at this. What the fuck up, Vince? Promise you're not gonna get mad. Well, well, first class. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck's up? All right. You know on the news every day? Uh huh. Like that guy Juan Garcia in Colombia. You know what I'm talking about? The drug lord Garcia chopped the head off. Yeah, him. Well, he doesn't necessarily chop your head off. I mean, we don't know that. That's what the news is telling us, all right? Listen to what I'm gonna say. I'm listening. There is a 20, there is a $25 million reward for the capture of this dude. And what the fuck does that have to do with us? $25 million, man. Are you out of your motherfucking mind, Vincent? He kill people, man. Your dog will be dead. You understand me? The motherfucker kid in that family's take them over to Columbia and they never come back, man. man I'm not talking about. It. I'm just saying, let's go down, man. Do recognizance, man. That ain't even a word. Recognizance. What we just go look and see what's happening, man, from a distance. From a distance. From a distance. Nah, it's like a vacation. Yeah, it, yeah. it is a vac in first class. Yes, all right. You know, I like living. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing like breathing. You know what I'm saying? I never heard a dead motherfucker come back from the grave and breathe. say how good it is to be dead. You know what I'm some of this. Is, is that them shroom motherfuckers? Yeah. Chocolate bars? Yeah, you don't have to yell that, but yes, yeah. it is, my nigga. It is. This motherfucker trip just got a whole lot better. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I have the pudding. Mm hmm. Mm. It tastes a little different. We didn't give much time to put it together, he said. So, he had to substitute a couple of the ingredients. What did he substitute? Small chip, like butter. And butter? What, what do you replace the butter with? What do you say? Hold on. Peyote? 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 Yeah. That motherfucker fucked a fire hydrant butt asshole naked on that shit. On a Sunday, in front of the church. He said it was cool, man. If you can't trust your drug dealer, who are you gonna trust, man? He does this for a living. Did you hear what the fuck you just said? <laughs> Chemistry Lesson 101. Taking a hodgepodge of drugs at 35,000 feet may cause you to simply feel faded. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson. Please enjoy this bottle of champagne on us. You mean you're gonna give me a whole bottle of champagne for free? Of course, Mr. Johnson. You're white. You know the rules. Hi, Mr. Johnson. The pilots would like a word with you in the cockpit. Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, silly. You're white. Come on. Here, take my pen. Welcome to first class. 
You know what? Take my baby. Come on now. Well, hiya, Christopher. Come on, son. Sit down. How'd you like to fly the plane? Man, are you serious? I don't know how to fly no plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you old devil, you. Come on, son. You're white. You can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> well, I? I'm tripping. Tripping inside and slipping around in my mind. Tripping inside and having a wonderful time. used to this white shit. Hmm. Credit score and went up. <sighs> yeah. Our hapless heroes arrive in Columbia, South America, which should be very interesting, as Vincent and Chris believe that Columbia is just another city in Mexico. Man, what is this? Ain't no black people here, man. You lied. Man, I don't know about this shit, but... This is not what it looks like in the picture, right? It says five stars. Man, this ain't one star. This ain't a quarter moon. This place is nasty, man. All right, let's go. Uh, what about Kurt, man? What about him, man? We're in a foreign country. They love Americans. Dude will be fine. We're Americans! Oh. Three rooms, please. Three rooms. Que necesitas? Que necesitas? Something about a K and sisters. Ah, necesitas una habitación para alquilar. Solo tenemos una. I don't know, bro. You better know, man. You've been reading that damn Mexican travel guide ever since you was on the damn plane. Now, figure this shit out, man. It doesn't say anything about ordering a room, dude. It says, like, fucking plants and soccer and shit. That's it. Like, Escobar, you give him a room, wouldn't you? Escobar? Yeah, Escobar, like the soccer player. Like, go! did you just do, Vincent? I don't know. Andreas Escobar is Colombia's best soccer player. Says it right there. Man, let me see this. No damn wonder. This is 1992. This motherfucking magazine is 20 years old. No wonder she didn't understand what the fuck you talking about. What is that? Get your gun skins. Hey, hey, what? Yo, yo, man, look. It's a midget with a gap, man. You're Americans? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, we're cool, right? Americans. Why are you singing praises to Paulo Escobar? We ain't praising nobody but the Lord. We, we're God's children. We were sent here to build a small mission for the Lord. I mean, mission for Jesus. Jesus' children. And we don't know Pablo Escobar, bro. Put the gun down, please. Forgive her. She's getting seen now in her later years. All right, three rooms. 20 American dollars, only had one room and one bed. I mean, the hell with that? Come on, $20? Let's get the room, man. Little dude's got to get. We can get another hotel tomorrow. Only accept cash. You got a spa? 
It's never easy informing one of your friends that while he was in a drug-induced coma, his marriage ended. But hey, what are friends for? Fucking hugging. What the fuck is you hugging? I had to wipe the slob off his face the whole flight down here while you were jacking off underneath the blanket. How'd you know I was jerking off? The smooth ripples in the blanket. I should have used the jacket. Jacket's are real smooth, got the material. That way when it get crunchy, it don't wrinkle up. You know, I ain't never done it myself, but that's what I heard, you know. All right, good looking out next time. That's what's up. <laughs> I think a drink is in order for you. So you somehow thought bringing us to a third world country was a good idea? To catch a fucking Colombian cartel drug lord? Are you mental? Keep it down, oh, man. Look at these people. They all look alike, man. They could be the cartel. So you're gonna get us killed. You're gonna get us fucking killed, Vincent. Maybe it wasn't a well thought out plan, right? I mean, but we're here. So let's just do this. How could you let this happen? I didn't do shit. He told me he was coming on vacation. I didn't know he was gonna be doing Rambo shit. Have you lost your mind? Oh, Kurt, you lost your mind. And your wife, your job, and your dignity all in, what, three hours? I can justify to that. I can't believe I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> Think about it. $25 million. $25 million. Do you know how much that is? $8,333,333.33 a piece. Motherfucking rain, man. Oh, we're still gonna get killed. None of us knows anything about capturing a drug lord. Hey, you can say that again, Kurt. That's, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Dude. I didn't think of it like that. Everybody's got their thing. This is our thing. Kurt, wouldn't you like to show your ex-wife that you're not a loser? Well, who said I was a loser? She did. What a bitch. And Chris, wouldn't you like to throw baseball with a kid that's actually yours? Yeah, that's funny. I'd like to do that one of these days. Right, come on, man. Listen, if we go back to LA like this broke, what do we got? We got shit. Listen, I'm going. I'm doing this. Now, who's with me? Fuck it, I'm in. Thank you. I'm still not sure why I'm even here. Hey, man, grow some nuts so the squirrel can climb up the tree and nibble on him. I'm not even sure that made sense, but you should listen to him. All right, I'm in. Let's do this. Fuck it. And fuck that bitch. And do the DJ. Cocaine you want and baby. I'm going with him. I'm going with him and him. He ain't got pussy, man. He tripping. Pussy is not a bad thing. That's what I'm saying. You guys are doing it all wrong. You need to you need to package and combine these rocks for more uh, more efficient distribution. Mm. Man, stop mm. all that grunting and shit. Mm. What? Mm. I'm not grunting. I could have swore we were drunk. I'm scared mm. drunk. But I'm up, but I'm drunk. Yeah. This is Alaska, right up here. This is Alaska. The old snow? <laughs> just a regular way to stick. And that's Canada. So we're gonna come in here, and come in here, and, and, and come over here. Mm. Man, I need a gun. We need guns. Take about a 357 Magnum if we're gonna do this. Man, fuck that baby shit. I need an AK 47. That way I can bust a cap in the motherfucker ass. <laughs> Yeah, 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 here in this uh in this vicinity right here, you could attack the United States where they uh where they least expect it. <laughs> Jesus! Enough. How do you know so much about smuggling cocaine? I, 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 I don't know anything. <laughs> Teaching everybody like school children? No, no, no. I just, I, I, I have no business. I, I'm, uh, it's not like it's a uh, rocket science. It's actually common sense. 
Oh, so you're calling me stupid? No, 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 I don't... I know you. I don't know when I've been so disrespected in my own homeland. But am I such a man that should be treated like this? No. You know what? I don't think I should be the one that should be discussing your fate. I think maybe we should take him to Garcia. No. <laughs> No, no, I don't got fate. I don't need to see him. I'm up, I'm up, okay. Yeah, energy, energy. Can't talk about this. I mean, like, I, uh, look at me, like, I, 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 I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm, I didn't mean to. <laughs> God damn, man! I just passed the chick with a dick. I don't know, man. I touched her fucking ass. You touched her ass? I did. <laughs> oh, God damn, man! Hey, look. <laughs> it's not right. It's gonna be alright, man. This is a freak I, scene. This shit make me gay. No, just <laughs> alternative. Man, no, I don't want to be fucking cocaine. Man. Hey, it's man, don't do no ball. more blow. My friend ain't gay, so uh, she had a dick. You didn't touch it. You didn't. Did you suck it? <laughs> no. All right, because I was going to leave. Hey, Kurt, 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 he got Kurt, man. He got a gun to his head. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Let that shit go. Would you like a cream and sugar with your coffee, Mr. Oh, Mr. Pomeroy, uh, Kurt, Kurt. Pomeroy, and, and I'll take Splenda if you have it. Do you know who I am, Mr. Pomeroy? I've, um... I've seen news reports about you in America. How do they portray me? They say that your, uh... Your business is the, the cause of a lot of violence, both here in South America and in North America. So I've heard. Let me say this, Mr. Pomeroy. Long before our country learned how to capitalize on our largest export, we were a nation in despair, a very poor country where industry would have never existed, or jobs, or schools as we have today without cocaine. The United States suffers from a disease you Americans call multiple personality disorder. I'm not sure I follow you. I will explain. The State Department in Washington sends down representatives every few months. They work out a special deal with us. Uh, they give us a free route uh, where we can bypass the Mexican distribution and sell our products straight to the streets. Now, not having to deal with the Mexicans uh, quadruples our earnings and keeps me from having to deal with those dirty, uneducated field mice, as I like to call them. Then, the United States other personality appears. And they send down a representative calling off all deals and demanding money for me. Now, I call that extortion, Mr. Pomeroy. But there's nothing I can do about that. Yet. Why exactly am I here? Well, my associate here, Mr. Diego, he knows more about this business than anyone that I know. He overheard you tonight, apparently sharing a great wealth of information on how to improve our business. And I want to find out what that is. No, I, I really, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know anything. One more time. Huh. And I'm going to sew your lips shut with your hair. Mr. Pomeroy, let us take a walk outside. As you know from doing business in America, loss is something you cannot tolerate. Oh, my God, no, I mean, no. Now, Mr. Diego will take you into the study. There you will find a stack of files that he will explain just enough to get you started. What, what, what if I said no? <laughs> well, I will show you. Matalo. God, no. No, 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 no. Good night, Mr. Pomeroy. <laughs> Levántense. El general los verá ahora. Well, what the hell is you saying, pig? Get up. General Andrés will see you now. Brilliant. What do I owe the honor of being woken up at in the middle of the night 
by one of my soldados speaking about a kidnapping. Our friend got kidnapped. He got taken away in a jeep. That's why we came here. Hombres, you're not answering my question. Why did you two come into my station at 4 a.m. yelling, screaming, demanding that I be woken up? I, <laughs> El Kidnapo, Kidnap A, like we just told you. Our friend got taken, and we're trying to get him back. Hey, 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 look, look, man. Our friend was taken in a Jeep. I know damn well he ain't outside that window, man. Why are you wasting our time, man? We've been here. Chris, fucking chill. Third world country. You should listen to your friend, Mr. Christopher. That way, you might make it out of this country sitting in the seat of a plane and not a wooden box. Look, you took me out of context, man. You know, I have a problem when I get hot. You know, I have a, a, a mental thing that happens, and you know, it's kind of like Tourette's. Motherfucker! You know, so, uh, shit. Sorry, sir. I cannot help you. You need to head to Bogota and see someone in the U.S. Embassy. They will be able to help you. Carlo, give it to us. Afuera. This way, let's go. Hold on, man. No, 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 no. We're not done here. Andale ahora, pa' afuera. What is this, some kind of Mexican boardroom? Hey, what are we doing here? You're in some shit already just by coming to the station last night. They know. Who knows? Garcia Cartel. The cartel! Keep your voices down. They're everywhere, even in this policia station. How do they know who we are? You two idiots came in here yelling at the top of your lungs about some kidnapping. They would kill me if anyone found out I was telling you this, so listen to me carefully. You're gonna go to the embassy and tell them about your American friend. Tell them he's being held by Juan Armando Garcia of the Garcia Cartel. They will start a negotiation for his release in two or three months. Two or three months? Are you crazy? They got him now. You have no other choice. Now that they know you're here, they will kill you, sure enough. Why you want to help us? My people have lived in fear of different cartel regimes over the past 30 years. The United States is our only hope on stopping them and their murderous ways. Having an American kidnapped will bring exposure to this and help with our efforts. There's got to be another way. I, I may know of someone. Who? There's this guy. He's a former American Special Forces unit guy. He's very local. Name is John Waters. He lives in the old church in the middle of the village. Oh, and another thing. This is Colombia, not Mexico. We're not Mexican, you imbeciles. Wait a minute. How do we get in touch with you? You don't. Están jodidos de todas formas. What did you just say? I think he said we fucked. What the fuck? Man, you always get me in some shit. Very, 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 oh, oh very good. <laughs> yeah, up <I'm> you USU. <laughs> very good, Mr. Pomeroy. I see you and I are going to have a very fruitful business relationship. You, my friend, are going to be very rich. Uh, with all due respect, Mr. Garcia, I, uh, I have a wife and, and a job back in L.A. I, uh, I, I can't stay here. Mr. Pomeroy, your wife filed for divorce in a Los Angeles courtroom yesterday afternoon. And as for your job, my associate informed me that you no longer have one. <laughs> you see, Mr. Pomeroy, information is extremely valuable in our business. You have spies? No. We have Google. And why don't you just make yourself comfortable, make yourself at home, Mr. Pomeroy? The choice to stay is not yours, but your choice to live. Come. 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 Please, I want you to check out the deal. You may find it somewhat meaningful.
moment of sheer terror at what he had just witnessed, no man can resist the mysterious and majestic beauty of the Poonani. This has got to be it. Looks like the place to me. What do you think fuck off means? It means don't come in the motherfucker, but knock anyway. Go away! Yeah, my name's Vince. This is Chris, man. We're looking for John Waters. How do you know my name? What do you want? Look, man, Policia Carlos sent us over here, man. We're just looking for help. I don't want no Carlos. Fuck off. Oh, come on, man. Our friend got kidnapped by the cartel, man. We're just trying to... Oh! Hey, that's my manhood you got that shit pointing at. John, put away the fucking guns, man. We're cool. The fuck is going on? ID now. Come on, John, we're cool. Hey, you're American. No shit. Can we just come in? Get in there. This motherfucker's in his underwear. All right, take a seat. Tell me your story. Man, this makes South Central look like Beverly Hills. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh well. <clears throat> Tell me your story. All right, we came out here on vacation. We went to a party. Cartel members kidnapped our friend. We were told that you can help us. You want me to light that dog dick you puffing on? I don't smoke. How do you know it's the cartel? The guy at the police station told us. <laughs> what are you doing? Ha! Huh. You can't go to the police. Are you fucking crazy? They don't do anything. I tried to tell him, man, you know, I got warrants, I told you, man. The police stations are connected all over the world. They got computers now. Thank you, my fellow Negro. I came here in 89. In my special ops division. Dropped us in the jungle, 30 clicks south of Medellin. Did you just eat that? We've been out here for an hour. Special search and destroy mission for Pablo Escobar. The soccer player. Thank you. Who? No, man, I'm talking about Pablo Escobar, the most dangerous drug lord in the world. You short bus recipient. That's why the lady was crying at the hotel. Man, how am I supposed to know there's more than one person in Colombia named Escobar? Are you sure he did not play soccer? Man, I don't know. So there we were, waiting for our orders. They didn't come. Some asshole in Washington decided to push it back, so weeks turned into months, months turned into years, and next thing you know, finally the order comes through. And man, we were ready. And we went in there, quieter than a virgin's queef, and we took him out on the roof of his own home. <laughs> yeah, but then again, some yahoos in Washington decided to give credit for a job well done to the Colombian army. Now those monkeys, excuse the expression, wouldn't have been able to find Pablo Escobar if he was hiding in their own jockstrap. <sighs> yeah, well. So I've been waiting here ever since to take down the cocaine cartel. You want some? Yes, I do. What is it? Urine? It's a, wh what? You drinking your own piss? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I couldn't fill this up by myself. No, I got a couple of guys who go to the bars downtown and fill it up fresh. Gives your skin a really nice glow, you don't understand that. Can you help us or what, bro? Let me ask you a question. Do you want help getting your friend back, or do you want to take down the cartel? Look, man, we're willing to do whatever it takes. We just don't want to die, if you know what I'm saying. We like being alive. Okay. I will train you. But boys, now is the time where you make the decision to be man enough to call yourself soldiers. Because once you go into this thing, there is no turning back. Once you awaken the beast, you better have the balls to slay him. 
dinner at the garden. I will send for you, Maria. Hmm, what's that? Don't even think about canceling. <laughs> I cannot believe that you did that to your best friend. I mean, he probably wanted to kill you. Oh, he did. <laughs> Vincent hates it when you mess with his hair, let alone shave it. But enough about him. <laughs> what did you call this again? Carne con salsa de tamarindo. It's the best one I ever had. What'd I tell you? Oh my god. All right? Why do you speak such good English? Well, I was born here in Colombia, but I was educated in the States. Actually spent most of my life in New York City. But I got pretty homesick, so I decided to come back to be with my father. That's that's really sweet. I like you, Kurt. I really like you too, Maria. And I am honored that a woman as beautiful as you would want to have a, a dinner like this with me. But I'm a little concerned about your father and some of his men. Uh, have you seen what goes on here? It's not always that pretty. Listen, my father gives these men opportunities that they would have never received anywhere else in this country. He gives them a chance at a good life, you know? Pretty sure I saw a man ripped in half today. They're not all as appreciative as they should be. It's sad. I weep for them. I just want you to know that I respect your father. I, I mean, I, I, uh, I respect him a lot. Para esta noche, Pablo le preparó un postre muy especial. It doesn't sound as nice when he says it. God damn, man, my head fucking is killing me. Hey, moaning. Whose idea was it to drink moonshine? I didn't drink it, man. You and old boy was up singing and dancing like y'all was best friends forever. You do realize this dude's batshit crazy, right? Pretty much. I'm telling you, Vince, this is like some movie shit. And I know how this story goes. How does the story go? Man, you ain't never seen them Harrison Ford movies? You know, he starts out in Washington, then he comes down to South America. Next thing you know, all his friends get blown up by rockets and shit. Keep going. They probably already took his ID out his wallet, right? Found out his address. They probably already sent a hitman to his crib in LA and killed his wife, Brenda. Let's just go to the embassy, all right? It's not like this G.I. Joe motherfucker's gonna actually be able to- What the fuck? Never underestimate the element of surprise. First lesson, always be aware of your surroundings. That was a lesson? Yes, it was. And training day is just about to begin. So you stayed up all night painting yourself like your wall? Affirmative. Maria and Kurt had grown quite fond of one another, but when you're the daughter of the world's most notorious drug lord, nothing remains a secret for long. Maria! Luis! You should have told me you were going to leave the ground, especially in front of our new employee. Luis, always al comandante. No puedes hacer esto en frente de la gente. Kurt, this is one of my father's men, Luis Diego. Yep, we, we had the pleasure of meeting him. Yeah. He showed me his knife collection. We need to talk to Senor Kurt. Talk to him. Not here, in private. You can talk to him here, in front of me and everybody else. You know, it's okay. Are you sure? I'll be fine. Well, daughter <laughs> whoa <laughs> that sounds like a loaded question there buddy Damn. 
friends at the policia station asking all the questions i don't know anyone else here oh. okay okay they're harmless all right I, I can talk to them just let me let me talk to them and i'll keep them quiet i'll get them to stop talking to the police policia is no longer the problem What the hell is wrong with you people? It's killing all you know. Right. Okay. Let me tell you this. When I find your two amigos, I am going to cut their tongues out. If they are lucky. I swear to God, if you touch them, I'll kill you! <laughs> hey! Gentlemen, welcome to my training ground. You know what we're gonna do here? A little bit of an agility training, a little bit of speed, and maybe some weapons capability. See if we could turn you into some soldiers. How's that sound? It's cool. Let's go, man. Let's do it. That's cool, man. Let's do it. Sir! All right, let's go over here. Yes, sir. Come on! Come on! Wing it! picture for posterity. I just have to say one thing. There's only one thing you need to know to keep from getting killed in battle, okay? And that rule is, you must never, and I mean never, Man, this shit is fucked up. We ain't cut out for this shit, Vincent. Don't even go there, man. This is what John trained us for. Come on, man, it's not like the movies like you're always talking about. It's not like we're gonna show up, man, and there's gonna be a mansion with guys in suits and Uzis and shit. Come on, man, we'll go in there and kick the door down L.A. style. Now, why you bullshitting yourself and me? That motherfucker was Special Forces, Marine Corps, crazy son of a bitch, and he got killed by a Mexican bitch in a motherfucking chicken truck. Man, have you ever seen Breaking Bad? Two regular dudes, right? Come on. 
Then they became badasses, and they started capping people. That's exactly what we could do. That was a TV show. And it took them four seasons to become badasses. I've been a screw-up, bro, ever since we were kids, man. I've never achieved anything I set out to do, and I know that, man. I just kept bullshitting people. But right now, if I don't go get Kurt back, this is all my fault, man. This is my chance. This is your chance, man. What do you got to go back to? Come on, man, you look good. Look at you, you're holding guns and shit. All right, I hear you, motherfucker, you know. <laughs> We do got guns and shit. Shit, I got a couple of grenades right here. That's what I'm... Do you even know how to use those things, man? No, but I can hit a motherfucker in the head long distance. Oye, usted puede ayudarme a acusar ese cuerpo ahora. What's he saying? I think he's saying we can pick up the dead body now. What do you mean, man? He's not going anywhere. We'll get him when we come back. You got him, Think about it. Let's yeah. get the fuck out of here. With their fearless leader now roadkill, Vincent and Chris continue on their quest to rescue Kurt. I'm tired, man. This must be it. Why don't you make a fire, man, and I'll go shoot some food. Man, you truly are an ignorant motherfucker. Why don't you just shoot a flare in the goddamn man so they can come over here and kill us? I don't understand. Go see his house is up the hill there, fool. I don't know anything about this wood shit, man. I refuse to be in the Boy Scouts growing up. Fuck that. Refuse. <laughs> yeah. What you got against the Boy Scouts of America? You better think about it. All those old men taking them young boys to the woods, man, not allowing any little girls to go. Teaching them to tie knots and be wee blows. Mm -mm. Whole thing sounds like an underground gay farm to me. I'm out. Yeah, that's the smartest shit you said all week. <clears throat> You got a special sauce. Piss off. Look at this, man. Shed some light on the subject. Red, that'll work. Jackpot. Food. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you know what? This dude's got forks. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. He might be dead, but he was a uh, he was a proper dead man, leaving his friends some stuff. Look, man. Don't play hard ass. What you talking about, man? You have not talked about your wife leaving you one time this entire trip. Come on now. You need to come. Do you need me to hug you? Do you want me to? I. You can. You see that? You can put your head right there. No. I will hold you. It's a four-letter word, like fuck and shit. Just something you gotta do. <laughs> I was in love once. Shoot him, man! Shoot him! He's a no. fucking zombie! And I remember it like it was yesterday. She was the most beautiful girl in the world. Who was in Vietnam. And the minute we looked into each other's eyes, it was love. We were gonna love each other forever. Yeah, of course. I only knew her for 15 seconds. She was my opponent in the Russian roulette game. She lost. What was her name? <laughs> I'm gonna call her Big Lad. Big Lad! <laughs> I tried to put her brains back in her head, but pff, that, that doesn't always work. Hardly ever. Man, your motherfucking ass was dead. He's right, man. You were dead. I can't die. You was dead, motherfucker. You got hit by a chicken truck. You guys want to get to business now? OK. First, I got to pee. Hey. When we approach the mansion, we got to approach from the east side. There's an outcropping of rocks. It's great cover. And as I was trying to tell you before I got run over by a chicken truck.
detrás de eso. Quizás un venado pisó una de mis manos. Señor García, we all want the same things. But your new associate here is asking for things that are not reasonable. Not reasonable. Mr. Pomeroy just spent the last hour explaining the newest and the best option to cut our distribution losses up by 75%. And you say it's not reasonable. <laughs> Felix, your men are imbeciles. Yes, they are cowboys with no class. Your country is killing our distribution because you idiots are killing each other like a bunch of uneducated Compton gang members. No. Oh. Now, you have no control of your men. Your ignorance is putting all of us and our money at risk. Senor Garcia, you do not know how difficult it is to move product in Mexico now. We have to open up the lines of distribution by using force. Now you wanted a bigger cut, so you stopped selling us your cocaína and started leasing us to move it for you. If you don't like the way we do business, we could go back to buying your product wholesale. That way you would not have to worry about the distribution. Very, very interesting. Felix Santos is telling me how to run my business. You Mexicans, you're just a pawn in this chess game. The problem is, is that you all want to be kings. Right here is your king. Don't forget who your king is. Juanito, you do not realize how important we are to your kingdom. Without us, you will be struggling to even get your product into the United States. And you, Mr. Pomeroy, <laughs> your idea of 25 747s into Canada and then rerouting them into the southern states, it's, <laughs> it's too costly. Maybe you're right. Maybe we would lose less product overall. But we need more manpower as it is. But Juan, must you not forget that battling the three-headed monster that is the United States is hard enough. If you choose to disrespect me and our efforts, you will be adding one more head to that monster. King, learn to respect your pawns. For they are the largest army on the chessboard. Luis, I think Mr. Santos and his bodyguards have overstayed their welcome. Consider it done. Gracias. Mr. Pomeroy, tomorrow morning we are going to Mexico City to meet our new distribution. horseback riding and join us horses no no uh, absolutely not uh look there's a uh, there's been a problem i uh i just saw your, your father and felix santos they they got into an argument i'm pretty sure diego's on his way to to kill santos and his men did you not just hear what i said yeah you were rambling on about santos or something do you not like me anymore i like you so much i mean you're the most beautiful woman i've ever seen it's just that People, they're, they're killing each other on a daily basis, and it's, it's insane. You are so cute when you're nervous. Marie, you, you remember my, uh, my, my two friends I, I, I told you about, uh, uh, Vincent and Christopher? Your gringos? 
those those gringos, they're the ones that have been going to the police and telling them about me being missing because I'm here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Diego is gonna either kill them or the United States is gonna send someone here to find me. Either way, it's gonna end bad for us. And my father will handle them all. You are safe here. I don't want them handled. I, I want them alive. They're my friends. You don't need them anymore. You have a new family here. Now, let's go horseback riding. I, uh, yeah, I, I gotta go change. I, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to kill him, aren't I? Oh, Blanca. Probably. Is north, so like northwest, right there. That should be it. Hey man, look, moss grows on the north side of the trees. Learn that in Boy Scouts. Well, why don't you go look for some fucking moss on the north side of the trees, and I'm gonna use technology, and we'll meet there. I'll never find you at. Look, man, I somehow got service. I can't get it in the middle of L.A., but I can damn sure get it out here. I'm using this. Unbeknownst to our heroes, the Colombian army was already mobilizing against the cartel. Senor Chavez, el cartel mexicano Dominguez va a atacar al Juan Garcia. ¿Cuándo? Ahora está fuera de su casa. ¿Y qué tan confiable es vuestra información? El dueño de la propiedad. Pues vaya y asegúrese con este dueño de la certeza de sus datos. Vaya, ahora. Sí, mi general. Esto nos da la oportunidad de eliminarlos a los dos. They'd be walking around in suits, man. You think a guy's job, he goes home, changes clothes, and goes fucking relieve the next guy who walks around in a suit with an Uzi? I know you got a problem, man. You got a motherfucking problem. This look like a Scarface reunion up in here, man. We ain't built for this shit. I'm telling you, I'm bouncing. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Oh, man, come on. There's a Mexican on a bicycle, man. With a box in front. Man, let me see that. Yeah. Look how I see the motherfuckers, man. Here, hold this. Stay on point, man. He ain't dreaming shit. Shut the fuck up. Pull the trigger. That's all you gotta do is a gun. Bang, bang, motherfucker. I be goddamn. Selling a box of oranges at a motherfucking cartel crib. Give me the gun. Hey, look at this. What the hell? What the fuck is that? I don't know, man. Oh, play dead, play dead. Play dead. That's your motherfucking idea to play dead. Shut the f man. Bring me down here, this motherfucking shit. Okay, okay. Let me kill the motherfucker. Okay. We've been trained. Let's kill some fucking fucker. Somebody got the job in this bitch. Yourselves killed. Maria! Maria! Hi, just, I need to talk to her just for a second. Maria, what? Holy shit, you look amazing. I don't love 
other than Japanese animals. Oh, that's, um, that's the Mexican cartel. They killed Diego. We have to get out of here. I know. That's why I'm preparing to kill Santos myself. Marie, sit down. Sit down. Look, my friends are here, all right? You can come with us. You too. Or not. Your friends? Yep, Vincent and Christopher, they're alive. All right, come with us. I'll protect you. You dirty gringos. You think you can come here and take our business and our home? What? It's not like that at all. Muerte, hijo de puta! Connection. You got a sick motherfucking mind, man. You come down here and fall in love with the biggest bitch down here. Just like back home. Just like back home. I do not think that this is the appropriate place or time to be talking about this, do you? Shut the fuck up. Come on, you got a shooter. I love her. Man, you do realize this bitch is trying to kill us. She's just a little confused. Well, then text the bitch then and tell her to quit fucking shooting at us. I don't even have her number. Chris. Yeah. You said you could throw a grenade like a baseball, right? Motherfucker, satchel bag. Fucking throw it! A grenade! Yeah, hold this. Shut up, man. He won't pull the pin. Seriously? Sit. You're not gonna hurt me, right? I'm gonna bang the bitch in the grape and knock her the fuck out. Listen, I'm gonna create a diversion. You know what a diversion is? Yeah, that's what one motherfucker go do some crazy shit so this motherfucker can hit the bitch. Yeah. Pussy. <laughs> oh. That's Juan Garcia! That's him? That's the man! The money! Oh, I gotta go! Money! Wait for me! General, hemos confirmado una batalla donde están García. Hay como 20 hombres. Alerta a los hombres y helicópteros. Esto no es un ejercicio. Vámonos, vámonos. Wait, put it out, put your gun down. Put the fucking gun down. Put it down. You kill her now, motherfucker. Come on, let's go. This way. Ah, damn, we were coming bad asses. This fucking fuck. Hey, watch your motherfucking gun. Come on. Now you can calm down, man. I think we got it. 
They did it. These three nitwits, I mean heroes, actually you know, capture the world's most wanted criminal. I'm not even sure there's anybody left. No, we killed all these motherfuckers. Maybe we should uh, call the embassy. Yeah. Yeah, it's that time. I think you motherfuckers need to call an ambulance, man. Hey, man, get in the back, man. You get up! Take care. Get up, motherfucker! Oh, get up! All right. You heard me, man. Get up. Quick, my buddy. Get the fuck back! Where am I going? Oh, Stand right here. Oh, hey, where, 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 where? I got him. Don't get in. What's he doing? I got him. Don't get in. Don't, don't get in. That motherfucker. Don't get in. Don't get in. Don't get in. Man, what? 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 Yeah, motherfucker. The Maria's dead. I got that bitch's pussy in my hey. pocket. I'm gonna fuck it later. Get down. Get down. That is when Mr. Pomeroy decided to stay in Colombia and now runs one of the most controversial drug cartels in history. Yes, the Brighter Day Cartel still produces and distributes cocaine, but they do it in a very different way. Most of the money is used to build better schools and housing in the countries of Mexico and Colombia. A logo for the cartel, a new marketing department, employee benefits makes this not your everyday cartel. The Brighter Day Cartel is estimated to have surpassed all other cartels in total revenue, although specific numbers will never be released to the public. In parting, we ask Kurt Pomeroy why he does what he does. I would ultimately say I get high helping others because others got high. <laughs> so there you have it. Looks a new agent drug dealers don't care. Yeah, he does, man. I like that. So there you have it. One of the greatest stories ever told. Well, not really. But I'm sure you'll find some moral to the story that you can live your life by or some such nonsense. And if not, honestly, who really gives a shit? Fozzie is the newest leader of the oh, Taliban yes, in Afghanistan, yes, yes. and now Lord. number one on the United States most wanted mm. list. A reward for tens of millions of dollars is being offered for his capture. U.S. officials say Fozzie should be considered extremely dangerous. Okay. And now, in other news, do you miss Sarah Palin? Yo. Well, you'll have a chance to you see her tomorrow night on a Barbara Walters special. Yeah, I heard I know it. I'm going to tune in. You thinking what I'm thinking? I think you have lost your mind. You got shot. Oh, man, who cares? We're still here, right? Vincent, it ain't happening, man. Why can't you just enjoy the money? Man, are you not surrounded by some beautiful girls because of it? That's exactly why I don't want to do what I think you're thinking about us doing. I'm going to stay right here with the beautiful la ladies. I need deep tissue before the retarded child comes up with another idea that I ain't down with, by the way. I'm just asking you to think about it. Gosh, oh my, I only stepped on a landmine that didn't kill me. Pussies. Where'd you go? Abandon me. God almighty. Oh, this is like, I, I once had the Siberian itch. I had the Siberian itch. Yeah. Oh, I had the Siberian itch. Saigon, I don't know. It fucking hurts just like that. Living life.
she let the bullet go She never heard the words I said Couldn't use my best lines Didn't have enough time She just 